So I am in the thick of planning my Great Gatsby Roaring Twenties themed 30th birthday party. There's a lot of moving parts and a lot of different details. I keep adding on more details, but one of the main details is my birthday dress, the main dress that I'm actually going to wear to the party. There are multiple outfits when it comes to my whole entire birthday extravaganza because I am gonna be doing a photo shoot and things like that. But the number one most important outfit is the dress, the dress dress that I'm wearing to the party. It has to be the best out of all of them. So I contacted a bunch of custom dress designers. A lot of them were overseas based in Europe. And I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I asked them if they would be interested in gifting me a dress in exchange for a promo. I'm going to be clearly making a lot of content about this party, taking a lot of photos in the dress. And as an influencer with a pretty decent platform, it's not weird or uncommon to get gifting in exchange for a promo for the brand. It's a pretty fair trade-off, but I had to wait to hear back to see which brands would be interested in gifting, but also I really wanted a certain type of dress. So I wasn't just going to accept any random free dress that a brand was willing to give me. And to be completely transparent, when it came down to it, coordinating the gifting was taking a long time and making me nervous. And I thought, honestly, it would be safer for me to just purchase a dress. That way I just know that it's paid for, I know it's on the way, and I don't have to worry about it. So I ended up ordering and paying for a custom dress from a brand that was based out in Europe. I was pretty nervous about the lead time because it was made custom to my measurements. It was handcrafted. I wasn't sure exactly how long it was gonna take to get to me, but it came in shockingly soon, like really, really early. My main birthday dress, the gown, the special gown that I'm supposed to wear to the party just got delivered a day earlier than expected. I'm so nervous. It came all the way from Kosovo, which is, I think, Southeastern Europe. I'm scared, I'm scared. Why am I so nervous? No refunds, no returns. It was quite a process to order. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Please. I'm not gonna show y'all yet. Live reaction. It's heavy. Oh, I don't know what to think. Okay, I think I like it. It's the. This style of dress is really hard to tell anything just by looking at it. Like I need to try it on to know for sure. I mean, so far so good. It's a little different than what, I don't know what I was quite expecting, but it's a little different than I was expecting. It is so freaking heavy. I didn't think about that. I mean, I should have known. I'm worried about the straps. The straps look questionable. We might have to do something with that. I mean, at the end of the day, I gotta try it on and see. Oh Lord. Because the dress got to me so quickly, I was a little bit skeptical and kind of unsure about the craftsmanship and the quality because I'm like, how did you guys make this dress so fast? So it's in here in this box. The first thing is that it's so heavy. Yeah. I didn't think about how heavy it was gonna be with all this. It's like basically full metal because of how many appliques are on here. Like if you lift up the box. Yeah. That's a good how many pounds you think? It's heavier than my chihuahua. <laughs> so I'm worried about just the heaviness of the, like it's sitting on my body and like hanging. And that's gonna be a lot to carry around all night. Which I'm used to like beauty is pain. If I'm uncomfortable, I'm uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Like that's not gonna be a like a deal breaker for me, but I'm I want it to look right. So I don't want it to be sagging and like hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the fit has to be like perfect for it to sit on my body. And when I tried to try it on yesterday when I first got it, I couldn't like get the straps on the, the right way. I couldn't get the sleeves on, so it wasn't like sitting right. Mm -hmm. I honestly think it might need to be like the whole top part might need to be like reconstructed. To be fair, I couldn't fully get it on by myself yesterday, mm -hmm. but from what I could tell, it's not gonna fit. Do you think it's like like you just couldn't reach the zipper or doesn't fit, doesn't fit? I couldn't reach the zipper, but I also think it doesn't fit, doesn't fit. Okay. <laughs> I think both. So so maybe we I need to find the, like a good seamstress. I think the straps are too short, so that it's like too like, eh, you know? Yeah. And then 
the sleeves are like, I don't know if you've ever worn that type of top that has mm -hmm. the off the shoulder sleeves that are connected to the shirt right here. Yeah. It's kind of like very restricting cause it's like your arm is connected to your body. It's gonna body. keep like pulling. And this dress has no stretch, no wiggle room. It's very heavy. So like for it to look right, I would be like strapped into it like this. <laughs> you, you'd be, you've seen that video of like Kim K in that really tight dress. And yes, like, like it would be yeah. like that, which Again, if I have to be uncomfortable for the look, but it you doesn't even look move. right. Yeah. The way it's like, it's it hangs, and I would just have to try it on and show you, but based on my non-expert opinion, but the, I did go to fashion design school for four so years. So semi-expert. Moderately expert opinion. Oh, see like this? Yeah, and the glue, oh. like this glue. That just should have popped off. It, and it, that's also, you see like the problem with the sleeves. Like, it's pretty. It's got, I was gonna say it has good bones. Does it have good bones? It's it, got bones. It's got, the applique is there. We have yeah. all this applique. If anything, it may need to, the actual dress, the shape of the dress might need to be completely reconstructed. But um, I think it's possible. If, so, we, if we can find a really good seamstress who is up to doing this type of like custom, intricate, delicate work. Cause I'm also worried about like how delicate this dress is. I mean, you can see It's like it's just already, moving it, it, it's gonna like fall apart. It's already falling apart. I'm, I mean, even if we get it altered and it fits, do you think this dress is gonna last all night or last enough. I do have a backup plan as far as like having an outfit change. Oh, we, we talked about during that, the right? Party. If I use this dress for my grand interest, leave it on for a little bit, halfway through the party, sneak away and change. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I almost forgot yesterday. So I had reached out to a lot of dress designers. A lot of them yeah. had left me on red, ghosted me. Yesterday, two of them that previously ghosted me answered me. I need to get back to them because, I mean, I already paid for that dress and there's no refunds. So you, you might as well get some other dresses. At least if that dress is a no-go and I can get another dress gifted, at least I don't have to buy two dresses, at least only one dress that I bought. And, and I think that'll that'll even out. Yeah, we'll see. I'll find you a seamstress. That's, a, that's the main thing right now. Cause yeah. As it is, I cannot wear that. That is unwearable. The little extra strap part that I think was causing the problem with the fit, mainly. In theory, I could re just remove that. I mean, it's a little weird that it points up like that when it doesn't have this. I think I gotta try it back on now. I definitely like it better without the extra strap going diagonal and just like the simple regular strap, but it makes the neckline look weird with this point and I feel like the neckline was already kind of wonky anyway. So I'm wondering if there's a way to go in and kind of like undo the very top of it and kind of reconstruct it a little bit to fix the neckline, either make it like straight across or just sort of straighten it somewhat, just make it a more flattering and more even looking neckline. But I don't know if I trust myself to do that because there's kind of a lot going on and all these layers and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I could easily finish removing this, cut that off for starters, but I might need professional help to redo the neckline. And then the sleeves, honestly, now that I'm looking at it, I think they're kind of supposed to drape a little bit like how they are. They do look a little tad bit too big, but like, I don't know if it's worth messing with it. I think at the very least I would maybe remove the actual sleeve part, also because it's catching a lot on the dress. Unfortunately, my biggest fears came true and this dress is just not right. There's multiple things wrong with it and I don't think that I am actually going to be able to fix it myself. I thought at first, if it's just a few little things, I could do it myself. I went to school for fashion design, but no. The more that I really looked at it and thought about it, I think I'm gonna need some professional help to fix this dress and I honestly don't even know if it's fully fixable. I'll be honest, I paid a lot of money for this dress. I was in a rush. I kind of panicked and bought something really quickly. I could have done more research. I could have waited longer to hear back from some of the other brands that I reached out to. I could have done more when it came to making the right choice with purchasing my birthday dress, but it's too late now. There are absolutely no refunds, no returns. I already reached out to the brand. They told me there was nothing they could do so I'm stuck with this dress and I spent a good chunk of change on it so I'm just hoping that I can get it to work some kind of way
Similarly to my main birthday dress, I reached out to a bunch of brands about getting outfits for my birthday photo shoot. Some really cool brands got back to me really quickly and said that they would love to be a part of my shoot and they sent some items my way. All right, I'm starting to get a lot of packages in, a lot of stuff from Amazon, and I believe this pink package is some of my outfits for the photo shoot. Let's see. Yes, this is from Shop Denoa. Shout out to them. Them. They gifted me these items. I came across their shop on Instagram and I noticed that they had actually a bunch of pieces that kind of went with the Gatsby flapper burlesque 20s inspired, vintage inspired theme. And they were so nice to gift me these pieces. But when it comes to gifting, there's always a level of surprise. So I'm really curious to see what all they included. Is it gonna fit? Is it gonna work for the shoot? All my looks for the photo shoot are still pretty much like a toss up because it just kind of depends on what I end up with. I think I might be saying the name of the shop wrong, but it's like Dinoa, Dinoa. Oh, they included a really cute handwritten card. Ooh, heavy pieces. They're like super bedazzled from what I remember. Okay, so I know which one this is. Oh my God, it's heavy. It's really heavy. How many crystals are on this thing? Okay, okay. I have to try it on later. Then we got, oh, the pink one. It's real pink. You know it wouldn't be me if I didn't get some pink. <gasps> I almost like don't even want to show you all the way, but you're gonna see it anyway. This isn't my final, final birthday look. This is more so just for the shoot. But I don't know, I might have to like do an outfit change at the party or something. Or for the after party. Oh my God, it's so cute. I gotta try it on. Okay, okay, so far so good. These were the two pieces that they sent. I still have a bunch more stuff coming in and I have all this stuff that I got off of Amazon. Also to go along with my shoot, I have placed a bunch and I mean a bunch of Amazon orders. I think this is the most Amazon orders I have ever made in one short amount of time in my life. I mean, literally every day, two, three, four Amazon boxes are coming through because I'm ordering so much stuff for this party. I'm ordering accessories and props for the photo shoot. I'm ordering accessories and props for the actual party. I'm ordering decor pieces. I'm just ordering so many things. Plus there's other things going on in my life right now that I also am placing Amazon orders for. So Amazon is just Amazoning right now. As far as like accessories for this shoot i got this fun flowy boa you know kind of a different take on a feather boa i thought this one just looked a little bit more luxe instead of just the feathers Ooh. okay but i did also get a regular feather boa because i just felt like that's so you know just iconic for the theme these are annoying because they shed so much i feel like no matter what kind you get it's just gonna be shedding everywhere Ooh, okay these are some head pieces that i got like so i feel like stuff like this is very iconic for for the era as well. Cute. And then I got another one. This one's like a big, like all over your head like this. Oh, I got this feather fan, but it came broken. It was super cheap on Amazon, but I guess you get what you pay for. A piece of it fell off, I can already see, but I could probably easily glue that back on. Just like kind of a little burlesque moment. I literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more Amazon packages that just came in and it's like all for my party. Another headpiece. I found a lot of those like crystal headpieces on Amazon. I got both multiple styles for multiple looks for my photo shoot and stuff. Props, fake cigarette. What is this called? Cigarette holder. Gotta have the pearls. You see the vibes. You see the vibes. You see the vibe with the fan and the boa and the pearls and the headpiece. I got a bunch of stuff. I got props for my shoot, but then I got extra props to have at the photo booth at the party for people to like wear and pose with for photos at the party. I got decor elements for the party, stuff for the centerpieces, a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna have to open everything and check and make sure it's all good and see what else I need.
But this is not even all of my Amazon orders. I definitely have some more stuff on the way and some more details that I need to get, especially for my photo shoot and everything. One thing about me, I'm not afraid to cut my hair and switch up my hairstyle in general. I have actually been itching to cut my hair for a while now. I used to have a pixie cut. I've been growing it out for a couple of years, kind of in that awkward phase. A lot of people have been really excited about the idea of me fully growing my hair back out, but also a lot of people have been saying I rock the short hair really well and they would like to see me with short hair again. Personally, I flip flop back and forth all the time, but I've been itching to cut my hair at least a little bit. And I just felt like my birthday party and this whole Roaring Twenties theme was the perfect opportunity because back in the 20s, the bob was all the rage. The girlies was rocking the bob in the 20s. And I've been really wanting to try a bob. I really like to cut my own hair and do everything to my own hair myself. It's just a personal preference. Yes, I could go to a salon, but why go to a salon when I got scissors and Bravery. Mm, how hard can this be? I've done it before and I'll do it again. Sure wish I had some better scissors than this though. Should I use my clippers and just like make it super blunt? That might work better. Here goes nothing. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do the bag by myself, I don't think. I have to call my mom for backup. These scissors suck. And am I making it uneven? <laughs> Just need to chop this off. That might be as good as it's gonna get. I was getting a little nervous halfway through, I'm not gonna lie, because I couldn't get the blunt cut super straight in the back, but after some time, I got it pretty straight. I styled it, I flipped it to the side, and honestly, I feel like it turned out really cute. And I'm super excited to have my hair cut like this for my photo shoot, because this is just like the perfect on theme haircut. Sure, I could have just worn a bob wig, but I like to commit to the theme. Y'all know I love a good theme. So my friend Rel, who is also going to be the photographer for my birthday photo shoot, had already done some research and recommended some venues, some studios that we could shoot at that would fit the theme. I chose one of the venues that he recommended. It was gonna be in Dallas because there weren't any good options in Austin. And I went ahead and booked it. Got a confirmation and everything. Later on, not that far out from the actual shoot, I end up seeing that I have an email that I missed before saying, actually, the studio that I booked is closing down and they have canceled our reservation. So we don't have anything booked for the photo shoot. Hello? Rel. What? I just checked my PeerSpace account because I thought the venue for the photo shoot was confirmed. The lady just messaged me and said, hi, so unfortunately the last date to reserve the studio is July 21st, then we'll, we will be moving to a new location. So they are not accepting any bookings for our date. You got the worst look. And it says she has declined the booking request. Okay. So where does that leave? <laughs> well, we can't make the July 21st cutoff time. That's not gonna work for our schedule at all. So we can't we can't use this space. We need to find another a whole nother venue. Our options are like non-existent in Austin for like what we want to do. I think honestly, I'm just gonna expand my search to like all surrounding cities. Okay. Cause we've exhausted Austin. I feel like we've exhausted Dallas at this point. So I'm thinking like maybe Houston, San Antonio, like wherever we can road trip to. I'm just okay. gonna look on Pure Space and like put it just to like Texas, period. Okay, so we're taking a road trip for this photo shoot. <laughs> yeah, and okay. hopefully we don't have to go somewhere crazy, but. <sighs> Fingers crossed. I'll let you know what I find. Okay, keep me posted. I will. Okay. <laughs> 
Bye. I'm so glad that I actually ended up seeing that email because at first I didn't see it at all and I would not have known that this was canceled. We would have drove all the way to Dallas, pulled up to the studio just to see that it shut down. Then what? So of course, we've got to find a new venue. I just hopped on my computer. I expanded my search to basically anywhere in Texas that could possibly work. We were already planning on taking a road trip to Dallas, so why not take a road trip to somewhere else if we have to, you know, within reason. And luckily when I expanded my search, I did pull up some options and I ended up finding a really cute venue in Houston that that still goes with the theme pretty well. Having to change the photo shoot venue at the last minute was obviously not ideal, but we got it done. We have a new venue booked. Woosa. Everybody take a deep breath. Although this party is different and I'm taking everything up a notch and doing it in a more fancy professional way, it's still Raven Elise, it's still your girl. So I still gotta DIY some stuff. I love a good DIY. So I am going to be DIYing my own feather centerpieces for the tables. I started to unbox and look at these vases, I guess you would call them, for the centerpieces. And this is what I want to put the feathers in to do that like classic feather palm tree looking shape thing. I ordered a few different types, brands, sizes of feathers because at first I think I ordered ones that were too small. So then I tried to get some bigger ones to get the effect. I learned from looking up tutorials that you're supposed to use these thingies to stick the feathers in. It's like a specific thing it's called a bouquet form or something like that. I think I got four tall ones and two short ones for the way that our tables are gonna be. And then to also pair with it for the centerpiece moment, I have four of these larger frames. Cause after I do my photo shoot, I'm gonna get some photos printed, like a different shot for each frame and obviously put those in the frames. I also got this smaller frame. It's kind of a different, it's more rose gold, but this is kind of more rose gold too. So it's kind of a mix. I think it's fine to have like a mix of shades of gold. And so the idea is it'll kind of be like paired up something like this on the table with the feathers. Something like that. But we need to test out this feather situation and see if we can even make it how I think. For this DIY, I ended up ordering a bunch of, I don't remember what the dimensions of this feather is, but I think these are a little too small, but I have a lot of them. From what I've seen, I think I can mix them in with the longer ones. I only ordered one pack of long ones so far. I need to get some more for sure, but it's like this length that has like the nice droop to it versus this. It's a little bit shorter and it doesn't like droop as much, but I think I can mix them together. And then obviously this is what the taller vase thingy looks like put all together. So I have some of those, but then this is the shorter version of it. So I'm gonna put together this short one and see how it looks. There we go, nice and sturdy. Size comparison. The taller ones are for the tables that are gonna be more so in the center of the room. The tall like bar top height tables that you just stand at are gonna have these. And then the lower booth tables are gonna have these cause I thought it would be too tall to have these at the booth. And then basically for the feather part, this is just supposed to kinda go in here but it doesn't really hold upright just by itself. I have to figure out how to rig that up. I need something to hold it up, but that can be easily figured out. What I'm trying to see is how many feathers. You're supposed to just take the stick of the feather and shove it in this styrofoam. I believe I should pull up the tutorial that I found because I think they said if you have smaller feathers, put the smaller feathers towards the top or did they say towards the bottom? And you're going to place that feather in at the bottom. If you do the smaller ones towards the bottom and a longer one at the top, it makes it more like not as wide, I guess, versus the other way around, it would be more like 
taper. I don't think that looks right. No, I think it needs to be small at the bottom. If I do that and just put one small feather in each quadrant of this little grid thing. With the feathers in there, it kind of holds itself up, actually. Okay, and then there are feathers. Would I do another layer of small or would I do all the rest long? Continuing on with the smaller size that I have, let's just see what that looks like. And they said if you make these in advance and let them sit, they should naturally droop a little bit more. I think this size of feather, at least for this height of vase, is, is right. I wouldn't use these long feathers. I don't feel like they need to be super thick to get the effect, because if you look at her, they are spread out from each other, but it's just you don't want to see that middle mm -hmm. thing. And her all of her stuff is white, so it all blends in, so you can't see it. So definitely painting this black, and then I need like 12 more feathers to even finish this off. 32-ish feathers per thing. Now the question is, would we just do that same size for the tall ones? Or I guess I could see what it looks like. And then it, I would take a lot more of these, I feel, to make it look right, because they're so skinny. They look more spidery and skinny. I mean, I, I guess that just means you need to fill them out. Fill them out with short ones. But the short and the long together don't look right either, I feel. I don't like the way the long ones are like so. So droopy. <laughs> like this is giving more of the, it's closer to my inspo photos. And I think size wise, it's not, it doesn't look like wrong. Like it's a little small, but it's not like ridiculously small. I need to order a lot more of these. I think it'll work. Spray paint this black. Use only short feathers, and I feel like that'll get that'll get the job done. Definitely have some kinks to work out with this whole feather centerpiece thing, and I think I'm gonna have to order some additional supplies, but I feel pretty confident that I'll figure it out. And then with these other feathers that I didn't like the style of for my centerpieces, I can actually use them for this DIY that I wanna do for my photo shoot. I want a big, giant, like burlesque, showgirl fan, which is like much bigger than this. I got this normal size fan off of Amazon. I already had the feathers on it, but I think I can extend it and make it bigger by just gluing these extra feathers to it. So if you can imagine, I think I'll just like hot glue it. If it looks ugly on one side, that's fine because I'll just pose with it since it's just for pictures. So at least these feathers won't go to waste. And then I'll order more of the correct type of feathers for all the centerpieces. This birthday photo shoot is gonna take a lot of preparation. We're road tripping to Houston to use the studio space there. I have five different outfit changes. There's different props and different concepts and stuff. So now I really need to lock in and finalize everything for the shoot. I went ahead and used an app called Milanote, which I used to use back in the day when I shot with Rel to create my Instagram content. And it's basically a really good like mood board planning app where you can add in all your inspo photos, you can put notes, you can color code everything. Everything. This is not sponsored. I just really love this app. <laughs> so, you know, I'm a little bit extra. I went on there and made this big mood board with everything listed out, tons of inspo photos, pictures of my outfits and the shoes and the accessories that go with everything, pictures of the venue, pictures of the poses that I want to do, just everything. So with all that in mind, I just need to finalize my outfit so that everything will be ready to be packed up for the shoot. So these other two dresses from Deji, I'm probably butchering the name, but that name, these are custom handmade gowns. I got my package from one of the dress brands for the dresses for my photo shoot. I feel like I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation. Dej, 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 Z. Dej, They sent me two custom fit to size, fit to my measurements dresses that they gifted me. Bougie, could you please? Why would you come and stand just directly in front of the camera like that? Move, bougie, come here. 
move out the way. You're in the way. Why do you always do that? Ugh. Oh, such a cute- oh my god! Dear Raven, happy 30th birthday. May it be the beginning of an extraordinary and unforgettable journey. Cheers to you and all the amazing adventures that awaits. Oh my god, from the designer. This is handcrafted. Ooh! I'm excited to try this on. This is so pretty. I might need to change my plans because I got multiple dresses because I wanted some just for the photo shoot and some like something to change into at the actual party because my vision was to have one long dress for the party and then have an outfit change and change into a short dress. That way I can like dance better like how brides do. Like they have their ceremony dress and they have their reception dress. I was kind of going to do that same sort of thing but now I don't know which dress to use for what that's really pretty okay and then we have another one <gasps> and this one comes with gloves this is a long dress oh I didn't even know it had this like cut out right here oh my god excited I'm so thankful to be gifted stuff like this like best birthday presents just as I finished opening that last package, my other package from Shein came in. I really don't shop on Shein a lot, but I was looking for some really specific, but I was looking for some really specific items and I just happened to find them. First item is for my birthday party slash photo shoot. I wanted to see what these shoes would look like with some of my rhinestone dresses. As you can see, they kind of go with the vibe. So there's that. They fit. I'll have to try them on with the dresses and see if I want to use them for the shoot or actually wear them to the party or what. I don't even know what I'm wearing to my party yet. So that's to be decided. Here's the other pair. Ooh, I like these. I think I like these better. These fit a little bit tighter, but they still fit. Isn't this just a beautiful angle? Can you line these up over there by all the other ones? I have gotten so many pairs of shoes. A third pair? What else did I order? Oh, I forgot I got these too. These are very similar to the first ones, but they're like a pointed toe. More space, more shoes. Well, you gotta make space. Since these shoes were so affordable on Shein, they were like 20 bucks each. I just got all of them because I was like, I'd rather have options than not have options and then be stuck. So I just got every shoe I could think of that might work. These are cute too. This one has like the swirl going from me down to around the hip with a little cutout around the hip right here. And then it's open towards the bottom. So I want to hang this up and start seeing what accessories I'm gonna pair with everything. I brought my garment rack in here so I could have, you know, my little professional looking area to get my looks together. I was running out of space in my closet and I have like no space in my closet. So let me just hang up everything. Oh, this dress came with matching gloves too. They also sent another dress, which is super pretty and bedazzled. Little flapper style. This one does not have hanger uppers. So far I have these one, two, three, four dresses. So then I've got these other dresses, the pink feather and the fringy one. The question now is, in theory, I was gonna have one of these dresses be my outfit change at the party. So not for the photo shoot, but for the actual party. And I thought it was gonna be this one, but now I also really like this one. I, I don't know, maybe I should just get the looks together and I'll choose which one I wear to what later. They all need to be styled regardless. And I'm missing two looks right now. I'm still supposed to be getting my custom chain bedazzled thing from Tanea Henry. It should be on the way. And then I also was supposed to have a white feather dress, sort of similar to this, coming from a different brand that was gifting it to me, but I'm not quite sure if it's still on the way. They haven't given me an update. If I don't get that dress, it won't be the end of the world I've got clearly multiple looks here that I could do for the shoot and the party and everything so we'll just have to see if that one comes in except I did order white accessories to go with that white dress I got these sheer pink gloves which look a little, little flimsy, huh? Never mind. 
this for this. I had to do one pink look. It just wouldn't be me without some pink. I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of shoes. Technically seven, but this is for a different occasion. Six pairs of shoes for this occasion to at least see. I mean, some of them might end up being returns, but I don't think so. <laughs> Obviously pink for the pink. I was thinking these iridescent bedazzled pumps. I got iridescent bedazzled fishnet tight. And then this is for the Tanea Henry iridescent bedazzled. Like that's like a full over the top bedazzled burlesque. That's the one that I want the fan for crazy showgirl moment. So I'm like trying to do the most for that look. So I don't have the actual outfit yet, but that would go with that. Just represent the outfit with the tights. Then we've got the pink with the pink. Then I, I tried on this fur with this fully fringe bedazzled dress and I liked that together. So maybe this is the white accessory look then in that case. No, I don't like these gloves with that, but I could do, let me come back to it. This shoe is for this dress. Cause you know, it has the same, whatever that is rhinestones that already has gloves that go with it i got this jewelry because it's got these bracelets to go on top of the gloves because i'm inspired by i think it's actually a picture of marilyn monroe which i know is not the correct time period but it's just generally vintage inspired shoot the party is specifically 20s the shoot is more yes 20s but also just vintage in general i would say those go on top and then these earrings i got for that too so that look is done. This look, I don't have jewelry for because this is all pink and I wasn't sure if like silver looks right with it. I would like to find matching pink jewelry. So I still need to look for that. And then this is unknown. I think these shoes go with this dress. These shoes, although they're almost the exact same go with this one or both. Cause I think I like, I may not use this shoe at all. Cause I like this version better. I mean, I already got Free both of them. Three ashy feet at that. Look at my ashy feet. I don't know. Either one. Oh yeah. And then these, this was like second option. And if I don't like the tights and shoe combo for the showgirl look, then I would just do the tights and shoe combo, you know what I mean? Built in one, <laughs> the black version, cause it's kind of given a similar vibe, but, and then also it's more of like black, like the feathers on the, the fan are black. So I'll have to try it on once I get the actual outfit and see which idea I like better for that. This boa and these gloves go with this look, this black dress, this, this. And one of these head pieces, depending on how my hair comes out and just what I like the best, I have three different head pieces for this slash for both of these. These white and like pearl accessories are supposed to be for that white feather dress that I'm not sure if I'm getting, which if not, then that's fine. This is the plan at least for now. And then I still have to figure out my actual day of main party dress situation and shoes and accessories and everything because the dress itself is still questionable to say the least. <laughs> So I am still missing some pieces for my looks for the shoot. Some stuff just hasn't even come in yet. So I'm not fully ready yet, but we still have a little bit of time. I'm really excited for this photo shoot because I've never done one before. And I'm doing a lot for this shoot with different looks and different like backgrounds and everything. So I'm hoping to get a lot of really cool pictures out of it. Also, I'm kind of nervous because I just, I've never done this before. So while I did go to college for fashion design and I've been knowing how to sew since I was a kid, I am not skilled enough to make the alterations necessary on my main birthday dress. Once I realized all the issues that there were, no. Plus I don't have room in my schedule to devote hours of time sewing and altering this dress. Luckily, my amazing assistant Zoe, shout out Zoe. She took the time to do some research and find a local seamstress that she thinks can handle the job. 
So we're heading to my appointment with the seamstress, Diana. Hopefully she is going to be the one who can save my dress, my main dress for the party, which was not fitting right, not sitting right, not looking right. I honestly don't even know if she's gonna be able to help me, but fingers crossed, I just have to show her the dress and see if she has any suggestions. My mom honestly doesn't even really know what's going on with the dress. I kind of briefly explained it to you, but you haven't seen it. Like you weren't there when I tried it on at all. Did I even show you a picture of it? Nope. So you don't know what it looks like at all. I know nothing about the dress. I threw it in the trunk, it's in a box. It's so heavy, it has to be transported in a cardboard box. You can't even have it on a hanger. It's fully, but you'll see. How you gonna walk in it? Barely. But that's also why I have a second look that I'm gonna change it into, like a short, comfortable, more comfortable dress oh, okay. that I wanna change into, but I just don't wanna have to wear that the whole time because it's not as like dramatic. I wanna at least have this dress for my grand entrance, take some pictures, da 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 da, and then go change into the short dress. It doesn't fit, the stuff is falling off, it's poorly made, it's not at all what I was expecting. If I can't fix this dress, my second option turned out to be out of stock, unavailable. My third option, the lead time is gonna be too long now. My fourth option was actually from this same company, so no. My fifth option is something I really hope I don't have to resort to because it's just not my favorite dress at all. So this has got to work. Basically. Good. Good. A little nervous about this. But you are? Oh, don't worry. I saw pictures. I feel like I have some ideas. You do? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes Here, I'll better. take it. It's heavy. Yeah, I hate this. This one. The color of it is not quite right either, and then it just shows so much, and it's it gives like it a exercise. weird effect. We won't even put that on for the fitting if you're comfortable, because yeah. we can just go. And I don't mind a little bit of sheerness. Like, yeah, I'll yeah. have nude underwear if it's a little visible. I mean, it's so much like coverage. I have a really good power mesh that it'll still feel sheerish, but it's like a level up from what's already lining it. And there is a little missing, a little piece I already cut off. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I couldn't even like get it on with this. So go up here? Yeah, it's like, like this part. Oh, so yeah. So the little point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why that's there is because it has another strap. Well, I think these lines seem like they're gonna change anyway, just based on that pic. Did you want it to lay like the picture? Yes. Yeah, so it's like we literally are gonna take like a scoop of that out. Cause it looked like drapey in it, the photo. If you look. And it's almost like square on I you. I think they, for some reason, added if you look on the inside, it looks like they added more to the top. I, I don't. I didn't ask for that. So maybe that just like goes away. Okay, we'll take a look. I'll just mark on it like the new shape. We can just choose where okay. we want that to go. Yeah, I kept yeah. this. It's not even long enough to like reach properly as it okay. is. So. so we can probably repurpose some of that. But you see what I'm talking about with the dress? That was your. That was her first time seeing it. Oh. Yeah. I and mean, the pictures that you tell, sent or just now. I haven't even seen the picture. So that I mean. You like it? I like it. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I'm not sure about what the issues are, but. You'll see when I put it on. Yeah. Okay. I think also my other biggest concern was the issue of just the general fit and the way the zipper is mm, already is it, busting. It's busting? A little bit. It's busted. I guess we didn't call Let's that see. out enough. Around the hip, it's too tight around my hip. Oh, I see. So it busted a little bit. It's gonna be okay. Um, yeah, just put, let's okay. put it on. I need help putting it on. You need help where well, that makes sense, okay. It's just different than the other. It doesn't, yeah, it's not sitting how the other one just. The other one looked like drapey. I mean, in theory, this isn't even like doing anything, like actually pulling on it. So you could try and create a little bit of the drapiness with this piece feeling a little easier, like that, versus it being like another hard line, feeling easier like that, if you're into that. And then with taking some of this away. Theory on the dress, if you're interested, is that they like made one in-house and then they like, had it made and that the make of it is like quite different. Um, so this is like an interpretation of that photo. I, That's what makes sense to me is like why it would be different like that. 
I thought this is the dress. The photo is very clearly photoshopped when you really look at it. Or there's that. <laughs> or there's um, that. They also sent a video of the dress. And yeah. You can kind of tell in the video. Is it like glitchy? It's a little, doesn't look like the photo as much. Yeah. But I think they took that, they only made one, and they altered this one to try to fit my measurement. Uh huh. That's why it doesn't. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, and then they potentially added that. Well, we can just take yeah, I don't think that off. Ready. I did think that it seemed loose right here. Yeah, I would love, so I... Which is the place that it holds it up. Yeah. Like, I'm taking some off so I can create something like leafier up here. I, what's, ha what's happening there? What's going on here? I had it on at Just point. like, relax, yeah. When we tried it on, we had, you had to like drop it first. Yeah. I will say that, but okay. it is pain, so. Well, and also, it's lowered again from where we started. So when this is tighter, it takes the strain off of this holding the whole dress up. It like has a friend to help. I am so worried about this dress, y'all. I just, there's just multiple things wrong with it. It doesn't fit right. It doesn't sit right. It doesn't look right. The quality is not right. Things are literally falling off, hanging off, breaking, coming apart as I'm trying to try it on. And I just really wasn't sure if there was anything that even a professional seamstress could really do to really get it up to my full vision. And I don't have a backup dress. I mean, yes, I could probably find something, but you know, it's my birthday. I have a special vision. I don't want to just wear something or just like some random dress. I really wanted my dream dress. So if these repairs on this dress don't work out, I am screwed. Plus, if you think about it, it does close already, which means in theory, it's almost okay. So I don't have to add that much for it to, like it's, I can see how much it's opening. It's opening a quarter right here. So you just need a quarter on each side, but I'll do it through to here because it's so tight right there. You, you seemed like everything was very doable and fixable. Because it is, it's fine. I'm believing that that's true. I'm choosing to believe that that's true. Yeah, yeah. And then good. we set for the 14th to come back yeah. and see yep. what it's looking like. Yeah. And hopefully you think that'll be, it'll be done after that or another round? Yeah, in theory it already fits. It's just like tweaks. So it will just basically look better and feel better when you come back. But there's nothing like overhaul about okay. it. Besides, like, this the just looking totally different. Yeah. Which is fine. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, Thank you. Good. You're welcome. Okay, so after having the full consultation with the seamstress, Diana, I'm feeling a lot better. She seems very capable of fixing everything that's wrong with the dress, and I can just kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel now. So I honestly really feel like the dress is in good hands. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Coming up next on Raven's Roaring Twenties Birthday Bash. Thanks.